Have you noticed how referencing can be such a drag, throwing you off your line of thought and taking so much time trying to remember which is the correct format? And if you're anything like me, then it takes an extra effort trying to make sure that you have spelled the author's name correctly. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install EndNote, which is a tool that works seamlessly with Microsoft Word to simplify the process of creating accurate citations and references. Then I'm going to show you how to create an EndNote library and how to add sources relevant to your project to that EndNote library. Then we're going to move on to a Microsoft document where we're going to cite sources that you have added in your EndNote library. And lastly, generate a reference list of all cited sources in just one click. My name is Lerato Anomsa of All Things Academia, where we explore and explain all things in the academic world. Welcome back to all capable academics who have subscribed to this channel. You are most loved and appreciated. And welcome to all our first time viewers. If you are a university student, a tutor, a lecturer, a researcher, or part of academia in any way, then you are in the right place. This video is part three of our Harvard referencing series. So please do check out part one and part two linked in the description down below if you have not done so already. Today, I'm going to take you step by step through to how to use EndNote and Microsoft Word to automate your reference processing, saving you time and effort. First things first, you will need to download the EndNote software from the official website, open the browser, navigate to the EndNote website, which you can find in the description below. Look for download or get EndNote button and click on it. Once the download is completed, locate the downloaded file, which is typically in your downloads folder. Double click on the downloaded file to start the installation process. Follow the screen prompts to complete the installation. It's a straightforward process and the software will guide you through it. When you are done installing, launch the EndNote program on your computer by simply locating the EndNote icon and double clicking on it. Once EndNote is up and running, you will need to create a library. Go to the file menu at the top of the screen. You can also access this by pressing Ctrl N on your keyboard. Clicking on File will open a drop down menu. Here you will see the option New. After selecting New, a pop up window called New Reference Library will appear. In this window, you will need to give your library a unique name. Choose a name that reflects the content or the purpose of your library. Next, you want to choose a location on your computer where you'd like to save your library. Click the Browse button to select a specific folder. It's a good practice to keep your EndNote libraries organized. Once you have picked a location, click the Save button to create your new library. EndNote will save your library file with the name that you provided and in the location that you have selected. Congratulations, lovelies. You have successfully created a new EndNote library. Now you can start adding new references to your library helping you manage your research material effectively. With EndNote, you can either enter referencing manually or import them here. We are going to look at both simply because if the reference you are importing has no DOI associated with it, a blank reference will be created with a PDF attached and you will need to manually add the reference details into the record. To add referencing manually, Click on References from the menu bar at the top of the screen, then locate and click on the New Reference icon, which is typically found at the top of the screen. After clicking on New Reference, you will need to choose the appropriate reference type for your source. EndNote offers a variety of options such as books, journals, articles, web page, and more. Simply select the type that matches your source material. Now it's time to fill in the required fields for your reference. Those fields typically include author's names, the title of the work, publication information, and more depending on the reference type you selected. Take your time to input accurate and complete information as this will ensure your references are properly formatted and easily searchable within EndNote. Once you've filled in all the necessary information for your reference, 
save your work by clicking on file from the menu bar then select save this will save your references to your endnote library making it accessible for future use to import a reference go to the database library catalog or website where your reference is located find the specific reference you want to add to endnote most databases and websites offer options select to save reference look for an export or send to option often represented by an icon like a box with an arrow or a citation symbol click on this option a dialog box will appear allowing you to choose the export format select endnote or a format compatible with endnote click on download or save button to save the file containing your reference to your computer now it's time to import it into endnote go to the file menu at the top of the screen from the drop down menu choose the import file option a dialog box will appear click on the browse button to locate and select the file you downloaded from the source below the file selection area you will see the option to choose how endnote should handle the imported references typically you will want to select endnote import or the format you used to export the reference after selecting the appropriate import option click the import button endnote will process the file and add the reference to the library to add citation to your word document using endnote you can use the cite while you write feature open your word document and place your cursor where you want to insert the citation click on endnote tab in word to open the endnote toolbar click on the insert citation icon on the endnote toolbar this will open the find and insert my reference dialog box enter the keyword to search for the reference you want to cite select the reference or referencings you want to cite and click insert to add the citation to your word document format the citation according to the input style you want to select now here is the best part of using endnote 20 for your citation you don't have to generate a reference list yes you heard me right as you cite your sources using the endnote site while you write a reference list is generated for you automatically endnote does not just create a reference list it does it flawlessly it formats your references according to the reference style you have chosen everything is perfectly organized and structured all you need to do is insert a page break separating your main content from the reference list just place your cursor where you want the page break to appear Typically, it is right after the main content. Go to the Insert tab in Microsoft Word. In the page group, you will find an option called Page Break. Click on it and voila. Referencing does not have to be the source of stress. EndNote ensures that. While EndNote is my personal favorite, there is a world of reference management tools out there waiting for you to explore. In my next video, I am going to reveal the top six reference management tools every student should know about. Be sure to subscribe so you are the first to catch this video when it drops, along with all other valuable tips that will boost your grades. And of course, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and fellow students. Now, click on the video that is appearing on your screen right now, because that is the video that you should be watching next to boost your grades. I project to you love and grace in a way of 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14.